The GTA 6 Trailer 2 has now just announced with tons of new details you won't want to miss. So be sure to like today's video and make sure you're subscribed because we have tons of new information you guys are going to be excited for. Firstly, new details inside of the GTA 6 poster has now given us a lot of information being that Lucia has an ankle monitor to limit access to the map and we also have tons of different things in which you guys can see by this image alone which has a lot of references to Scarface, Bonnie and Clyde and much more. So let me know if you guys see anything else because this is pretty interesting. Which more details is Jason is left handed, has a buzz haircut and wears his watch on the inside, supporting the theory of him being ex-military or an undercover cop. And what you guys can see by this poster, it gives us a lot of new details as well. More details you may want to know is GTA 6 launch details are planned to release in 2024, but this could be delayed until 2025 and it will launch on PS5 and the Xbox Series. XS in which it does state the PC version of GTA 6 will not release until a few months afterwards. Also you can see this truck is already teasing the GTA 6 release which I find to be one of the cooler things that have now just been seen in the real life. Which could they have new additions of the bundles in the actual truck that would be quite amazing as well as with you guys can see GTA 6 and the PS5 Pro are expected to launch around the same time in late 2024. So it's most likely a thing that the new versions of the consoles will be released at the very same time of GTA 6 which makes a lot of sense as to why this is a major promotion. Inside the GTA 6 trailer there was a person called the Joker so watch this clip it looks like he's a little upset. Everybody's saying that I'm hallucinating that I'm not the Joker from GTA 6 judge of goddamn nuggets. That's me. That's the person that got the inspiration from you see that? That? That's me. That's me. That's me. GTA, we, we got to talk, GTA. We got to talk. Or not, you got to give me like a meal or two. So what's up? Holla at me, GTA. Rockstar Entertainment. Rockstar Games. Rockstar Enterprise. Florida Joke ain't having that. Y'all took my likeness. Y'all took my life. So apparently now he wants to sue Rockstar for $2 million for the use of his image, which is kind of funny because Ned Luke being Michael from GTA 5 says we had this clown in GTA 5 and nothing more. So it's kind of interesting that he's also said that. And also you guys may know the person called Roger Clark being a main actor inside of the Red Dead Redemption 2. And you guys can see what he said responding to this, which is kind of funny. GTA, we gotta talk. No, you don't. You don't need to talk to them. They're not going to talk to you. They've had people like you trying to sue them for decades. They are lawyered up, man. They know exactly what they can and cannot get away with. If I were you, I would use the notoriety that they just threw your way to my advantage. Capitalize it on it somehow. You ain't getting a job in Home Depot with that face. So from the looks of that, it looks to be that this person will not be getting the lawsuit in their favor, considering this probably has happened to Grand Theft Auto in the past, and which obviously is a main concern for them. But at the same time, they clearly have enough people to take care of this issue, which also the GTA 6 hacker who leaked 90 clips has caused $9.3 million of damage last year's plan to do it again once he's set free. So despite spending time in custody over the past year, it looks like he wants to do it again, but I'm not sure sure if this is a confirmed informational leak considering the account that did post it is a very big account but it's interesting to say that the leaker that did all the gameplay stuff from last year wants to do this once again which is kind of stupid but i guess he's just really urgent on that new major information is that aiden ross will now be featured inside of the very next gta 6 trailer which you guys can see has now stated that inside of the actual twitter account and which is his alt account so it looks to be that they're going to be adding streamers inside of these trailers considering this is a major factor of what was in trailer one being that social media is going to be actually incorporated inside of their game it's pretty cool that they're going to be obviously getting streamers and content creators for what's new and coming inside of the gta 6 updates because there's so many cool things we still have in which the most replayed part of the gta 6 trailer one is the actual play in which the balcony girl scene which is not actually lucia so just so you guys know it's actually been confirmed by different 
different images that this is a different protagonist being added to GTA 6 which is kind of interesting because a lot of people at first did believe that that was going to be Lucia but that is not the case any longer. This week has been absolutely insane because GTA 6 clip was leaked by Rockstar's employee son and the full trailer leaked on the Twitter and also the leaker was suspended within 30 minutes. There was just so much going on considering they also had so many record breaking things happening on their YouTube channel, Twitter and just in the worldwide gaming industry. It was one of the craziest weeks inside of gaming and I'm so excited for GTA 6. Just look at the difference of Vice City at night from the original and also now GTA 6. It's really cool that they kind of did contrast these two together inside of the very first trailer which now confirms that Vice City is a major factor of what's going to be coming here within Grand Theft Auto 6 which makes a very good game considering this was one of the most OG gameplays inside of the gaming in industry. So this would be a really cool thing that they're going to be adding as well and I'm really excited for what's to come here. So be sure you guys are subscribed here on the GTA Central channel. Drop a like here on today's video and let me know your guys' overall thoughts on how excited you are for the release of this brand new game. It's going to be so cool and my assumption is that this will be released in the very beginning of either February of 25 or January of 25. That is my assumption. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Drop a like here on today's video. Comment down below if you guys are excited and let me know all your guys' new information on today's video that you guys may have not known about down below. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. Peace out.